Alright, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Drive 2 with Stellar Pachyderm, and we're currently looking at Sector Zero, continuing our polyp campaign, the Literally Green Reboot. And just, we just left off over here, and uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Let's get on with taking out the misguided fools to our left here. The Draylock Council, they do not know the way of the green yet. They must be converted for their own good and the good of the galaxy. Um, we're generating five pollution, which means we're l losing five production. But that's actually that's actually really low. All right, that's fine. Mm -hmm -hmm. Losing nine here. Building four cruisers. Alright, let's get some production going. <coughs> Alright, and I don't remember we just finished researching. Oh, I know. It was the uh, plasma guns, plasma cannons. So if plasma cannons done, I'm really tempted to get polyamor armor because we took the negative penalty to ground fighting combat <laughs> strength and now ground combats are only auto resolve. Um, so our ground troops are very weak and we are going to be converting the galaxy so we don't want to actually destroy the planets necessarily with bombs. We want to... you know, bombs aren't very green, right? So we want to send our troops in, capture the planets, and teach everyone the way of the green. Skeletal engineering is completely reworked. That's cool. How about rail guns? Real rifles. Plus one to four to all their damage rolls. That's nice. And I cannot do mass drivers. Um, pulse cannons I could do. Station privatization. Grand Embassy. Hmm. Babylon 5! Oh, wait. <laughs> <clears throat> so, we're not doing a um, diplomacy style game. So, this is a non starter for us. Um, Cantina and Station Privatization would both be really good, I feel. This is 2% approval and 1 BC a turn to the nearest colony, so... Yeah, oh. This makes them all cheaper. I think Station Privatization is probably marginally better. But that percentage approval bonus is so good. Alright. So I think this one's the stronger of the two. I think polyamor armor is what we need to get now. Probably after that we'll get skeletal engineering. No, don't bomb my colony. Um. Please don't kill my elephant later. Please don't. Uh oh. 
Uh oh. <laughs> oh, phew. <laughs> I was really worried there for a bit. Okay. Science station. So I can refuel at space stations. That's good to know. Let's find out what's down there. <laughs> so this is a fortified sector now. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I think we'll just keep progressing turns. Uh, no. <laughs> I almost wonder if that leader, the chicken negotiator leader, uh, this one right here, Master Crawl, Master Negotiator, I wonder if that's a reference to the Sten series. Because in the Sten series, the Master Negotiation race was a avian race that, in description, resembles that picture. Hello, what is that? The Elder God will destroy the unbelievers. He fu suffers not fools and worshippers of false idols. Pay us a tithe to satisfy his hunger, or face the consequences. Perhaps not. Whatever the case, we think the Rylo is strong continues the cycle champion. Until next time, this has been GNN. Hmm. So we have two solar cruisers right now. Uh, three. Another five turns and we'll get more out. So... What's our fleet cap? That's basically actually our fleet cap. Um, let's build some freighter fleets. Upgrade. Alright, so... Um, I'll probably take the shields off these guys as well and give them regrowth. So these will be like our medic. Because I cannot control the ground combat as well anymore. Well, 
Sonicblade is probably better than a laser pistol. I'm going to call this our uh, medium. All right. We're gonna need more transport ships. So one more cruiser and a bunch of transports. Hmm. Well, that's annoying. You know, this right here is a non-starter. We have to do pollution resequencer. We're spreading the way of green. We have to spread the word of green. So, have to do it. No choice. Have to do it. Have to. launch all of our troops. Apparently, we actually do need a tanker, so. I lack the 900 PC to build that outright. Alright, we're gonna have to wait a couple more turns. <laughs> Alright, we'll go ahead and buy it out right now. Because we're impatient. I do what I want! You're not the boss of me! Plus, I got my teeth kicked in, but you know. Ah, we do what we want, remember? Manifest Destiny? I do what I want! So they have one cruiser. Oh, and that fleet. They have multiple fleets there, just. They actually have a four cruiser fleet. That's pretty that's pretty impressive. I'm impressed. That's yeah. Thinking rail raffles though. I, I really don't want to give that to you. So I have to come in here and say contact, discuss, declare war. Yeah, yeah, I really do. <laughs> Alright, so we have their mobile forces. Let's go ahead and fight their mobile forces.
Alright, so that's the tanker. So our solar patroller, uh, I don't remember what his There we go. Something like that. And we're going to go ahead and order him to retreat. Alright, so what's the Solar Patroller again? It's just generic four point defense on the front. So it can help with the point defense duties. Um, oh, these didn't get upgraded. Oh, okay. Oops. Um, and always keep moving. I want to take out the missile cruiser, the missile ships first. They are the most deadly overall. Armor still holding up fine. So this ship's almost dead. It'll be dead in a few seconds. I'm trying to orient the ships so that they t spread up the armor, the damage on their armor fairly evenly. They are focusing the ship the most and the ship the second most. Um, so in order to combat that, we'll go ahead and move you back down here. Focus fire.
Wow, can they not hit that? <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Alright. Victory! No ships lost. One heavily damaged cruiser, moderately damaged frigate, and one lightly damaged... Oh, that's the... Yeah, 52,000 damage taken. Or no, dealt. 34,000 damage taken, 25,000 damage taken, 19... This one took 11,000, so our Solar Patroller took almost as much damage as this cruiser right here. So, And none of them suffered fatal or even significant combat damage. The one cruiser that took the 34th, or the highest amount of damage lost its engines. Or one of its engines, so... Alright, we are going to uh, not auto this. We're gonna. We'll try autoing later, but not for now. I do like the fact that we are coming into this. Our deployment is saved. And you are, of course, instantly retreating. Retreat! And you guys are going to. Hmm. Hmm, have to do this manually. So we're going to go ahead and turn these guys max range they want to fight at down. Somewhere in here. And always keep moving. And you guys can come down here. And as virtue, because our ships are so heavily armored, we are probably not going to spend much time dodging. <laughs> We're just going to come straight in. Just because we want to limit the amount of time missiles can hit us. And these ships really are designed to take defenses on head-on like this. We don't even have shield generators yet, you know? So, I mean... Lost one major armor panel. Shields are down on the starbase. So this ship, we are going to turn sideways. It's tanking the uh, starbase right now. Alright, we're going to turn the other way. Spread some iron across the rear. Starbase is almost down. I mean, as you can see, our power demands aren't even fluctuating. Even on this extremely heavily damaged ship. And it still has most of its weapons, so... Starbase is really close to dying. There it goes. Victory. Deploy! Invasion. Alright, so our pull-up soldiers. Damage is 5 to 10. Hit points max, 420. Hit points max, 100. Is that just because I've got so many, it's 
counting, it's combining all of my hit points. I think that's what it is. Polymer armor, plus 10. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Fight! My command point limit has been exceeded. Oh look, I'm making 9, nine BC a turn. <laughs> I'm not afraid. <laughs> That's what an economy's for. <laughs> so hit point total increases the total hit points of all combatants in the column. All right. Uh, damage potential. He's potential damage all combatants in the column. Actual amount of damage delivered can be further reduced by opposing damage reduction bonuses. Damage is split randomly among enemy combatants, although every combatant is guaranteed to take a minimum amount of damage. If a combatant takes more damage than his health, then it will be destroyed, and overall, any overkill damage will be lost. Victory! Alright, so we have now taken their homeworld. So I'm looking at these things, they, they are wounded. So these guys currently, I don't have any um, troops here to keep them under control. So they aren't happy with me, so they're not actually going to produce anything for a while. But I think at this point, it's more important to keep pushing on and take out his systems. Hmm. Uh, no, no, you need to know the word of green. And in order to fully know the wondrous word of green, you must be brought into the fold. Besides, that's a nice planet you got there. <laughs> and it looks relatively helpless. It's got a star base, that's it. So the Xenos simulation is way down here, which is annoying from my perspective in my current game right now. I would love to have Xeno simulation, but I don't have it. So what can you do, right? Energy cannon power, shield class ones, class one shields. Or beam weapon. Hmm. I have to pick something to research here. And I think the one thing we can all agree on is we need main engineering. Um, I might propose a peace deal with the Draylock. Ah, we can have peace. If you also give me class 1 shields. See, he's like, no, that's not a good deal. I'm just like, okay. I'm just like, okay, let's go ahead and uh, wipe him out then. All right, so I need to carefully look over all these ships. Uh, this is my most beat up one. So we're going to change the formation a little bit. Keep moving. That's the one I want. Alright, and you guys. Go forth and murder. I mean, convert. Convert. Convert, that's what I meant. Honestly, that's what I meant. Oh, what, you don't believe me? I don't know why you wouldn't believe me. I just want to bring everyone into the fold of green. True happiness can only be attained once you have embraced the word of green. Alright, you know what? You're focusing this ship. <laughs> we just won't close with this ship. We're going to stay out here. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> You're just gonna boat around. <laughs> and this one can absorb the laser fire, that's fine. All right. All right, another starbase falls. Excellent. And we actually took significantly less damage this time than we took on the previous starbase one. Not sure why. Add deploy. All right, Trelock Council has been eliminated. Holy moly, I wasn't expecting to instantly kill him like that. <laughs> All right, works for me though. Unfortunately, I didn't get any of his tech, which is a bummer. And we're gonna load up half our troops, <coughs> and you guys are gonna build our basic And then come back here. Um. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's not cool. Um. I don't think there's any way I can actually get my fleet, such as it is, wounded and all, um, over there. I just don't think there's a way. Um, however, we definitely need to... We need to build more ships. Yeah. We'll do it for now, because we're not ready. And it might be a little while before we are ready, due to... Oh, you guys are supposed to drop down to the planet. Land. And. Alright. It's negative eight. That's plus one. So I actually make more money by selling food off Palmer One than I do by doing trade. Okay. 
All right. Main engineering has been researched, which is a key tech for us. Um. What's in the class three shield? Fighter shields and field fuel cells. What are field field fuel cells? So named because we have completely dispensed the physical housing for the energy using seals are able to compress the various materials. So this only increases the maximum damage output at maximum range on beam weapons, and this increases all power, all damage on all energy cannons, and this gives us class one shields. And I'm trying to determine if it's worth it to bypass class one shields, or if I really need. Do I really need class one shields? I should probably go with class one shields. We'll take class one shields. All right. So in this last episode, we have gone ahead and wiped out the Draylock Council, um, much easier than I anticipated, and we have our second incursion of master ships, which are chasing a constructor around, which I'm perfectly happy with. We're trying to get our main fleet back to Sporal, so that if they do continue on to Sporal, we have ships there and we can possibly defeat them. I I don't think I really can without shield tech, um, but we'll definitely give it a shot. We don't really want to let Sporl get bombed for free. We want to block it if possible. After that, it's looking like the Wolf Arm Pyramid will be a good target for us for next episode. So hopefully next episode we'll have a good war with the Wolfar as well. So see you guys back next time.